research journal, entry one. I'm about to embark on one of the great challenges of my scientific career. <laughs> teaching Penny Physics. <laughs> I'm calling it Project Gorilla. Ich hab them. Come in, take a seat. Subject has arrived. I've extended a friendly, casual greeting. Ready to get started? One moment. <laughs> Subject appears well rested and enthusiastic. Apparently, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> All right, let us begin. Where's your notebook? Um, I don't have one. How are you going to take notes without a notebook? I have to take notes? Well, how else are you going to study for the tests? Is going to be a test? Tests. <laughs> Here. That's college ruled. I hope that's not too intimidating. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, introduction to physics. What is physics? Physics comes from the ancient Greek word physica. It's at this point that you'll want to start taking notes. <laughs> physica means the science of natural things, and it is there in ancient Greece that our story begins. Ancient Greece? Hush, if you have questions, raise your hand. <clears throat> It's a warm summer evening, circa 600 BC. You've finished your shopping at the local market, or Agora. <laughs> and you look up at the night sky, and there, you notice some of the stars seem to move. So you name them Planetes, or Wanderer. <laughs> Yes, Penny? Um, does this have anything to do with Leonard's work? This is the beginning of a 2,600-year journey we're going to take together from... <laughs> the ancient Greeks, through Isaac Newton, to Niels Bohr, to Erwin Schrodinger, to the Dutch researchers that Leonard is currently ripping off. 2,600 years? Yeah, give or take. As I was saying, it's a warm summer evening in ancient Greece. Yes, Penny. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, can't you hold it? Not for 2,600 years. I... <laughs> Project Gorilla, entry two. I am exhausted. 